what if you didn't have to nag your children ever again? What if you could tell them to do something, give them an amount of time, and then all you checked back in like when they were done? I'm amazing, right? Absolutely amazing. You're like, yeah, my kids are too little. They're, you know, they're teenagers. They're not going to pay attention. Whatever it is, this is my secret weapon and it will work beautifully no matter the age of your kids. No, it works on spouses too. It can work on yourself. So it is timers, magical plastic timers that you can order off of Amazon. And let me tell you, these have completely transformed how I parent. There is no yelling. There is no nagging. There is no negotiating. Like it is amazing what simply making time visible does for little kids. So I'm Tamson Horton. I help people go from ideas to income. And this is part of my outsourcing series on ways that you need to start with the stuff that is closest to you before you start outsourcing things that are, you know, farther away from you. And for about $30, you could buy all of these. Green for us is five minutes, blue is 30, and yellow is 60. And the way that timers work in our home is I have a six-year-old and a two-year-old currently. And if I tell Kip he has five minutes, it's my six-year-old, we've been using these since he was two, then he knows he has a green timer. So in our world, we talk about green timer, blue timer, yellow timer. He's just now starting to talk about it in terms of time and minutes because he he's starting to learn time. But before this, it was, mom, how long, you know, how long are we going to be gone? Blue timer. He understands blue timer is 30 minutes of time. He knows that the blue time, two blue timers is a yellow timer. So kids really can grasp this because they can see time. Like they can see it moving. They can see how much is left. So we've used these for nap time, for iPad time, for TV time, for, you know, uh, videos, video games time, reading time, cleanup time, you name it. We use timers in our household. They are, they're right by um, my kitchen uh, stove is where I keep them. But all you have to do is, and I would recommend 5, 30, and an hour. If you have really little kids, we didn't use the hour timer with Kip until he was almost four uh, because it was just too long. It was better to do two blue timers because this uh, was just a little bit outside of his grasp. But again, you'll know your kid the best. And the way that um, you do, you use them. First, you decide on your time amounts. Then you can use them for, you know what, you have five minutes to pick up all your toys. After five minutes, mom's coming through with the laundry basket. Everything not picked up is mine. And then you may earn it back. It's one way that we use the timer. We also use the timer for if he wants to play on his um, video games. We're like, okay, great. You have 30 minutes. And so you flip this over and... Thank you to my friend, Dr. Christy Goodwin, um, who has an amazing book, total side note, on raising kids in a di uh, digital age. This has eliminated the very um, real techno tantrum, which is a very real thing. It totally is how their brains are wired. I will link to her book. But this has eliminated techno tantrums for us because Kip can see the timer and he watches it go so that when we say time is up, it doesn't, um, it's not a shock to his system. So this, that is what we do is we have our time amounts, then we use, then we just use it consistently. The nice thing is if he's having, you know, let's say there's a lot of toys that are a mess. Usually it's the green timer for toy cleanup. Five minutes, plenty of time done. But sometimes I just know he needs more time. So I say, okay, great. You have 30 minutes to clean everything up. Again, it there's no nagging. There is like, uh, he can see the timer. And that is honestly the best part. It also works really well if let's say I'm trying to work on something for the business or a client and Kip, who's six, um, sometimes I'll be doing that during nap times and he might be home from school or in the summer. And I can say to him, buddy, I need an hour. So mommy needs a yellow timer 
to work on something. And so it works great because he can see the timer and best of all, I can see the timer. So I don't end up on my laptop for hours on end just saying, no, five more minutes, five more minutes. No, honey, I'm not, not quite done yet. So this is my secret weapon, not so secret because I talk about it all the time, in terms of how to outsource within your home. You know, starting with the stuff that is closest to you. You can use this for cleaning. I recommend it in conjunction with popsicle sticks, which I will link to um, below. So you can watch the video on how I use popsicle sticks to run everything in my home. But let's say you are, um, you want your kids to, you know, clean their rooms. You can set, you can use these timers. You just flip them over and say, you know what? I need to do work on X, Y, Z. You have an hour to go do whatever it is, you know, that's going to take up the time for them. So that, those are the timers. They are magical. They are so easy. We have the durable plastic um, don't break timers. But if you have any questions, please send them over to me. I am glad to answer them because this and my popsicle sticks are the two things that really transformed the entire feel of my home. And they are so easy and they're so adaptable. Like I said, I've been doing this since Kip was two. He's now six. Tad is now two. Um, and it works. I also recommend if you um, have kids in the car a lot, get a set for your car. We do have a set in the car um, that is the 30 and the 60 because often we go to the beach and Kip says how you know how long to get to the beach the beach is one beach is 30 minutes away and then the other beach that we like to go to that's a bit further is the yellow timer so they're also really handy in the car because they don't understand time they don't understand distance and so you know this allows them to just look at the timer and know they're getting close or know they're farther away which for at least in my minivan, has eliminated the mom, are we there yet? So I wanted to share that with you. I hope you like it. If you have questions, like I said, send them over. And if you try this, please let me know how it goes. I would love to know the ages of your kids, what you decided to use it on, and how it worked in your home. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.